नमस्कार एंड वेरी वोम वेलकम यूर वॉचिंग वेंटेज एम आकांक्षा स्वरूप Big story on Vantage tonight is China planning to set up a spy base in Cuba. Havana has dismissed the media reports. The White House too has called them inaccurate. And what has Beijing done? Asked Washington to mind its own business. We'll be getting you all the details on what could be the most direct challenge yet to the continental United States. And there's more trouble brewing for America. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is not happy with the US either. He reportedly threatened to change the US-Saudi relationship completely. What was at the center of this row? Biden's promise to punish Saudi Arabia for slashing oil output, from verbal duels to the battlefield in Ukraine. Kyiv's much awaited counteroffensive is underway. What is Zelensky's plan and how will Moscow react? We'll answer those critical questions and you may have heard about hugging a tree, but what about hugging an ocean? Sounds unbelievable. Well, Brazilians did just that on World Ocean Day which was yesterday. Hello, I'm Akanksha Swaroop filling in for Palki Sharma. The headlines first. Sudan's warring parties agree to a 24-hour ceasefire from Saturday. That's according to US and Saudi mediators who brokered previous truces. This comes even as Sudan declares UN envoy Volker Perthes persona non grata, accuses him of taking sides in the nearly two-month-long conflict. South Korea summons China's ambassador. The Chinese diplomat had said Seoul is wrong in betting against Beijing. Envoy Xing Heiming made the remark while criticizing South Korea's recent overtures to longtime ally US. Seoul warns Beijing against internal interference. Beijing ups the ante to play mediator between Israel and Palestine. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas to visit China next week. President Xi is looking to boost ties to West Asia to counter US influence there. Japan amends its immigration law. Authorities can now deport foreign nationals who apply for refugee status multiple times. Earlier, applicants could stay in Japan during the decision process. Now they will be deported after three rejections. In 2022, Japan accepted just 202 refugees out of over 12,000 applicants. Crypto exchange Binance suspends US dollar deposits. The move comes after American regulators backed a freeze on assets of Binance. It has also asked its clients to withdraw their dollars by early next week. Binance is the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange. And Australia's national airline Qantas ditches gender-based uniform rules. Male crew members will now be allowed to wear makeup and sport long hair. Female crew members can opt out of heels and choose flat shoes.